Welcome to another episode. Today we're leaving the beautiful town of Cadiz as we continue our journey south, our next stop planned as Barbite, where we plan to anchor just for one evening before pressing on to Gibraltar. We're going to get the head sail out just to give us some extra speed so we'll be motorcycling for a bit probably. Uh, we've got about eight knots of wind so we'll see how we get on. Just approaching Cape Trafalgar. Jade, what are you eating? Flavoured jelly beans. It's very fun. There's so many different flavours. <laughs> they are actually really nice. We're approaching Cape Trafalgar. Uh, we're about within 45 minutes-ish of it. And we are, we can actually see Africa now. Uh, it's coming to, it's coming to vision, which is really, really cool. Um, we're just passing like these beautiful like places uh, which we didn't even know were here really. It's been a nice motor sail down. Yeah. So yeah, hopefully as we pass uh, this weather seems to be really really good for going around Cape Trafalgar. This is insane. So we're now entering like the Strait of Gibraltar. Oh man. Over there is all Africa. That's crazy. That's Africa over there. You can't quite see it yet, but it's over there. I was thinking, so let me know in this video if you'd be interested on... So we've done 1,475 nautical miles since we installed our B&G equipment. I was gonna to wait to get to 1,500 and then do a video of, we've done 1,500 nautical miles, what do we think? So, but if you'd like to see something like that, let me know. And on that note, please do take inspiration from this video that if we've somehow managed that many nautical miles and still have a boat, it can, anyone can do it. <laughs> Literally anyone can do it. We are still fumbling our way through this, but it's working out so far, so keep at it. So the anchor is down. Uh, I'm just gonna give it some revs in reverse to see if it's set and to help it bed, to help it bed in the sand. Yeah. So it seems all good. Uh, it's a joint effort. I don't usually let the anchor out because I'm scared I'm going to drop it. I don't mind lifting it, but I was scared to let it out because I dropped it, but I did it today. So, accomplishment, eh? You smashed it. Oh, um, yeah, do you know what? Let me just turn the engine off so I can talk to you properly. If it stayed like this, in terms of the swell, I'd be very happy with this spot. This would be good. So I guess we just just play it by ear, see what happens, see what we think. We are off again. So that was the worst night ever. This anchorage is so rolly through the night. I get what all the reviews were saying now. 
right, so this time we are heading for the Spanish side of Gibraltar. We're going to go into the marina there um, because there's some not so great weather coming over the next couple of days. Um, but we're just going to hug the coast because from here to there, that's where most of um, the orca incidents have been. So I'm just going to hug the coast and we're just going to catch the tide taking us there as well. So that's pretty cool. So it should be a nice, nice chill day, hopefully. Apples? Mm, I was thinking that. They're 100% cooking apples. It tastes like apple pie, apple. Mm. I thought you liked apple pie. I do. I don't like that. So, for those of you that wonder what sort of things we do or talk about while we're on passage, we've just been Googling what is the fastest wind speeds recorded in the world and in different places. Put it put it in the comments, make your guesses now. They're gonna Google it, they're gonna cheat. Don't cheat, don't cheat. That's that's not cool. Okay. I'll we'll no. give you three options on the screen. And okay. you can choose the answer. Boop, boop, boop. So yeah, the fastest was recorded in Australia and it was <gasps> 250 whatever's on the screen knots. That's pretty impressive. That was a category four hurricane. That's mental. And in the UK, I think the it was in the Cairngorms, the highest speed recorded, and that was 155 knots. The Can you rec imagine? I know I can't I can't even imagine wind speeds anything like that. Well imagine when we hit 32 knots, which is our fastest we've been in, we felt like we were on a fucking rocket ship. Yeah, Can you we imagine did. that was like 200. Oh. Do some speed. That'd be insane. Yeah, we would. <laughs> we'll either do some speed or we'll be like flat on our side because it's pushed us over. <laughs> so yeah, a little bit of random trivia for you guys. Oh, on another note, Africa's over there. Africa is literally there. It's mental. So yeah, we're just coming up to Cape Tarifa now. This is where we are. Cape Tarifa. And we, we're using the split screen just because we're in we've been in shallow waters and this is closer for more detail. Um, zoom out. So there's all the ships in the Strait of Gibraltar and we're just going up here. So yeah, not too long to go now. It's 20 past 12 and we should get there about half three-ish. Maybe four. This is Morocco. And these are the big ships in the Strait of Gibraltar. Joking. Oh. 
We spent a good half an hour searching for my beloved calf. Unfortunately, it was time to say goodbye. I'll never let go. I promise. <laughs> managed to uh, duck on kind of the waiting pontoon. Um, it's quite terrifying, really. Uh, let's just show you what it what it looks like. So it looks simple now, but we've had to we had to raise the fenders, and there's like a good breeze that's blowing us kind of off and forward at about 18 knots as well. So that wasn't wasn't super easy, but we did it. So just got to check in and find out where we got to go to. We're all checked in. Jade is just adjusting the fenders because that wall was pretty high. So we're heading over to our pontoon now and yeah, we're just going to lower the fenders to adjust for the finger pontoon. But really excited to be here to be fair. Looks like a really cool place. We are now all settled down, having some yummy food. Yep. Delicious scram. I haven't tried it yet, so I'm just gonna. Mm hmm. You always knock it out the park. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, we are all settled now here in uh, La Linea in Gibraltar yep. and with the best view ever. I can't, I can't even like. We're pretty much just getting settled in at the minute gonna do our boat chores first which yeah. seems like taking the rubbish filling up the water um, and we're probably just gonna take it easy tonight yeah we're here for a few days so we've got time to explore and get up that rock I can't wait that was a beautiful meal and it's time to fill up the water already got a little connector on it we always have our connectors here but if it's got one on it I'll use it are actually probably the best facilities that I've been to so far. I've got, got like outboards on the back as well. They're so cool. They're so cute. Like little holiday in the marinas. Yeah, I love that. So Jay's just editing a video. She's working really, really Hello. hard. And I've just been replying to you guys on YouTube and on Instagram and just reading some absolutely lovely comments. So I just want to say thank you everyone for commenting and chatting to us. It's really cool. Uh, I'm actually a little bit peckish now. So classic Bryn. Classic Bryn, classic Bryn. I'm actually going to attempt, Jade, Jade's really good at making bread. So I'm going to attempt to make some flatbreads that we could potentially have in the cockpit with some olives. It could be a disaster, so I'm not promising. But actually, you guys ain't going to taste it. So as long as I have a straight face when <laughs> I eat it. As long as it looks like bread. As long as it looks like bread, you guys won't know if it's disgusting. I'll tell you, I don't worry. I'll tell you. <laughs> I would just like to mention here that when Bryn says make bread, it really isn't making bread. These flatbreads are literally made with flour, water and whatever spices and flavourings you want. Go ahead. Push up. I thought you were going to flip it like no, a pancake. No, I, I won't flip it like a pancake, but I will turn it over now. It makes a mean bread. There we go. Yeah. Beautiful. Perfect. I think this one's done. Jade's going to sample it first, though. That's so annoying. What? Why do you make these literally so much better than me? No. Brilliant, these are so good. No, I don't believe well, it. These are so good. Don't believe it. Is there anything this guy can't do? Why is he so good at everything? I don't know. Jade literally, literally told me how to do this. So this is on you. I told him how to do it. So how are they better than mine? <laughs> 
I'm actually impressed with how this has all turned out. Absolutely delicious. Yeah, so got some olives on there as well. Jade, what did you think? 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10. Wow. Thank you all so, so much for watching and supporting us. We really hope you'll tune in next time as we explore the fascinating Gibraltar. We have an amazing time hanging out with the locals of Gibraltar as we unexpectedly celebrate National Day.